Hello my lovely people, welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the palace of Oni of Ife. Allegedly, they said the king paid millions of naira to this uh, the CEO, Lumini Couture and Fashion Des uh, fashion Styles for Quenomi's re-engagement party. Hmm. My people, they said the Oloris in the palace, uh, they are not smiling. They are very envious of Queen Naomi. And a lot of people are saying, uh, why would the king be making this uh, uh, arrangement? Could it be that uh, Queen Naomi have assured, her, assured him that uh, she is returning back to him? Why others are saying, hmm, may the king no go make uh, funny of himself or, or, you know, may the king no just go embarrass himself after all this drama? Because in as much as we know that uh, he really wants Queen Naomi to come back to the palace, we have never hear, hear from the Queen Naomi that uh, she is returning back to the palace. And a lot of people are saying, these are still husband and wife. Oh. They feel they settle their matter for inside, you know. Everything must not be on social media, you know. So, they said the wives in the palace, they've been, you know, uh, hitting their head on the wall. I, I don't think there's any transformer in that, pala in that palace because if there's any transformer, they are not say they go go hog transformer. Because they say the king, the way the king they treat Queen Naomi, the way they treat the king they treat Queen Naomi, and the way they treat them, no be the same thing. No be the same thing. They said the king is treating them as if they are not human beings. They are not wives. That they are just a slave to the king, you know? Not even concubine, because now no say concubine sometimes they get upper hand. I just like when Ashley was in the palace. People like say she get upper hand then. And that was why she's she was able to uh uh, gang up against Queen Naomi and make her leave the palace for her. And now, what is happening? So, my people, all these people, I don't know, I don't just know. They never know, say, if, if you marry a man, we no love you. If you marry a man because you force yourself on him, or because you want to be a lorry, or because uh, someone planted into his life, you are never going to enjoy that marriage. Forget all this drama these people are showing us in, in the public, oh. They said when they are going outside, they will just pretend as if everything is okay. When they enter inside, their wala goes to start where it stopped. They know they see the king's face this time around. They said the only thing that is bothering this king at the moment is how to get his wife, his original wife, back to the palace and the, his son. Okay, according to what we are hearing, you know, they said the king have told Queen Naomi. Never to worry because you know, say when Nomi don't they talk, say she no go ever enter that palace with all these women inside because she is not ready to start fighting with them because of Bolao. Mm -hmm. Say she is too, uh, she's too busy for, or, or how will I put it, they are too dangerous for her to start uh, to come and fight. That she need a peaceful life, not and we know that when Naomi is a peaceful being, she know they find trouble, oh. she know they look for wahala. And these people say, as they carry their wahala, come, she no get strength to fight them. So now make and the talk say, I know they come back, oh, I know they come back. From but from what we are hearing, and they said the king have promised her that that is never going to be a problem. That the only thing she, he needed from her is her support, and let let her just accept that she will return back. That uh, how he will settle all these women is never going to be a problem. That one thing he should know is that you see the women they are not living, uh, they cannot uh, live the king's life because he is married to them already, and they are powerful women who can do anything to stay in the palace, who can do anything to achieve their uh, ambition, and you know say the ambition not to remain as followers. So, according to the king, the king pleaded with Queen Naomi, letting her know that what has happened has happened. And if he starts to fight these women because of Queen Naomi, that he may be consumed in the process, and even Queen Naomi too will be affected, that the highest king they have heard of in this life was consumed by women war, and he don't want to be involved in such war. So the only help that he needed from Queen Naomi now is to accept him back, 
how he is going to do it, he should, uh, Kunomi should leave that one for him. That even if Kunomi don't want to come back to the palace, of which we know that uh, that palace is not conducive for him, for her and uh, Prince Tadenikawo, as it is now. So even if she don't want to come back to the palace, that she, there must be a way out. And a lot of people are saying Kunomi should try and give the king a second chance. That the king is... Uh, serious this time around and ready to make amends you know so but my own is uh, anything that will make our queen happy you know anywhere she will be and she'll be peaceful and comf uh, comfortable that's my prayer for her so they said all the honorees in the palace so they are they are kind of crying they are always shedding tears i'm sure that they are wet their tears will be wetting their pillows because waiting the expected is not what they are seeing. Of which, of which, of which, of course, they're supposed to know that uh, taking another man's, another woman's wife, husband, when the woman is a child of God and the oracle of God, <laughs> is not going to be easy for them all because they are never going to enjoy this marriage with the king, except when Naomi, uh, may, you know, forgives them and leaves the man for them. Of which. And that is not what I want. I want Benomi to come back to her husband's house, take over, you know. But I don't want her to go into fight with all these women because they are dangerous. They might team up against her, of which even if they do that, they cannot achieve it because God is by her side. Because if not, uh, that God is with Benomi and Presta Denikawa. See, these women, they are dangerous. Therefore, don't do this woman, Benomi, but God is with her. And because her hands are clean, because they are the ones fighting her. God is fighting for her. So my people, what do you think? Do you think Kunomi should return back to the palace? Do you think this arrangement that the king is with? Because they said this arrangement is very serious. So, hmm. It is very serious for him to pay uh, millions of naira to this Lumini culture and fashion style. You know that uh, Nobi Smartin. So it could be that uh, Kunomi have given him her word. You know? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe he is just doing it to get Kwenomi's attention or to make her come to, in th to terms with him. Because Nano said the king likes to gift Kwenomi, even when Kwenomi uh, don't want the gift from him. So, uh, for those of you who have been saying the king should go and do the needful, send the honorees out and all of that, it is never going to be easy. It is never going to. Some of them are even more powerful than the king, girl, let me tell you. If not for the fact that he is the king and uh, people respect him, they know his worth and all of that, let me tell you, spiritually, most of these women are more powerful than him. Let me just state that, you know, and if he tries to do anyhow, if he collect though, if he collect. So in order for him to be alive and safe for Kwenomi and Prince Tadenikawa, it will be better than he take it JJ with them, you know. But I also pray that Kwenomi will forgive him and support him in this fight because he cannot do it alone and succeed. Anyways, my people are so we hear them. Don't forget that they are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. If you are not a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Share this video and give it a thumbs up. Bye for now. Love you.